So today we will discuss about the phonetics and cladistic means how the organisms are classified on the basis of the phenotype that is the overall feature or the morphological feature and cladistic means how the organisms or uh, species are classified into a group which are generally classified on the basis of the evolutionary history that is the evolutionary relationship between the different organisms. So, uh, we'll discuss this in this lecture, but before that, uh, let's first discuss about the classification or the classification method uh, for the uh, various uh, classif for the uh, various method which has been uh, given for the classification of the uh, organism. The classification, it is also known as the classical method of the taxonomy, we can say classical method. And what are generally the different classification which were used for the uh, quantif uh, for the uh, groupism or for the classification of the organism? The first one is the artificial system, and the second one is the natural system, and the third one is the phylogenetic system. Okay. These three are the different classification uh, method which were used for the classifying the organism from time to time. The first classification was the artificial system. It was based on the uh, few or we can say the one or the uh, few morphological observation. Means at that time whatever the scholar were present at that time and they first observe the morphological feature and based on that they classified the uh, organisms into the two groups that is the animal that is the all moving part is the animal and the all the sessile uh, organism which includes the plant are the plant like uh, structure so the two kingdom classification were there the animal and the plant and in the plant also there are the three categories that is the herb shrub and the tree on the basis of the height if the plant is smaller in the size or it is somewhat bigger than the herb or it is tall trees are present so on the basis of the diet on the basis of the height that is on the basis of morphological features only they are classified into the herb shrub and the trees why <laughs> sorry while in the case of the animals the animals are classified on the basis of the rbc if rbc is present in them or if rbc are absent in them so it was classified by the aristotle and the linnaeus and uh, it has uh, uh, many drawbacks because it uh, they consider only the few or the one morphological characteristic for the classification of the organism. For example, they classified the all worm-like organisms into a group known as worm. So it included the uh, we can say it included a wide range of animals from ranging from the nematode to snakes and nematode means like uh, uh, earthworm we can say earthworm okay so the worm group was there which included all the worm like or uh, organisms that is ranging from the earthworm to the snake. But later on, we got to know that these two group of organism or these two organism are very far, uh, um, you know, they are very, uh, we can say, dissimilar. They are not grouped into the one category only. They look like similar, but uh, they belong to the different group because earthworm is a nematode which do not have the backbone, but the snake having the backbone, it is uh, grouped under the worms group. So these are the some uh, drawbacks of this artificial system uh, because uh, because they group the organism on the basis of the morphological features only. So, the snakes have uh, backbone, it means it has some vertebrae like features, but it is classified into the worms all with the uh, nematode like the feature. Also, the artificial system, uh, what, uh, it, uh, what it did, it uh, separated the two closely related uh, species. For example, in the sky, the habitat, uh, 
द स्काई इज द हैबिटेड और वी कैन से द एयर इज द हैबिटेड एंड वेयर द बर्ड इज फ्लाइंग एज वेल एज द बर्ड बैट इज फ्लाइंग ओके सो बोथ ऑफ दीज species are flying on the sky so they consider it under the one group of organism since both are flying but we know that bat is a mammal which belong to the different group while bird belongs to the bird group so in this way they uh, separated or uh, they separated the two closely related species like in the case of the water the fish or the water body the fish is present and also the whale is present and they classified it into the one group that is the whale are also considered as the fish in the uh, artificial system but we know that whale is a mammal and also bat is a mammal so it uh, they uh, they used to separate the two closely related species this is the major drawback of this artificial system okay the natural system were then uh, were then given and it is given by the bentham and the hooker and it was based on the natural affinities means uh, it included the many internal and the external features like in the case of the uh, ultra ultra structure we can say the anatomy the embryology okay the phytochemistry morphology means on the basis of all the features the organisms are classified but here also it is it, it did not consider the evolution okay so uh, means it did not follow the evolutionary relationship that is why they placed the plant in the wrong order they only consider the natural affinities whatever uh, the internal and the external feature of the organism can be okay and the third one is the phylogenetic system and it is given by the angler and the planter and it is based on the evolutionary relationship means how the organisms have been evolved from the ancestor and how they are related to each other so this classification system is known till date and it is one of the very important uh, uh, classification system which is used to classify the organism based on their evolutionary history and we got to know from uh, where and how the organism